What's up everyone? I'm back for NXT Main Event Reactions. Reaction time once again. NXT's on a commercial, so I put it on AEW Dynamite. Jake the Snake just uh, had his back painted all must, or everybody must die, or everyone dies, something like that. That Lance Archer, I guess, rolled on his back. So, Dino is uh, next Saturday. I will watch that live because it's not going to NXT. August uh, 20. Oh, that's. I'm not watching that. That's the same time as TakeOver 30. It's like. That's like the same damn time as TakeOver 30 starting, I believe. Or Dynamite is starting during TakeOver 30, so I'm not going to watch Dynamite over TakeOver. I'll watch it later. <laughs> These matches are not going to fucking compete with uh, TakeOver 30. They're not. They, they can't. Brody Lee, Cody, next Saturday for the TNT title. Up next is Jericho Orange Cassidy, $7,000 match, whatever the hell that is. Back to NXT. The evolution of the game. What, or what is it, a DVD? It's got, it can't be a CD. Maybe it is. I don't know. The vinyl is available for free. A vinyl? Vinyl record? Really? Uh, I guess be buying the vinyl. Buying it. Not me. Timothy Thatcher. Let's hear what he has to say. I guess they're at his uh, school again where he beats everybody up and submits them like he's in the dungeon. Like he's Stu Hart in the dungeon. So, Timothy Thatcher teaching his students. Ankle lock. Timothy Thatcher is not letting go. Break the guy's ankle. Again, he's like punishing them. Like he's Stu Hart in the dungeon. Pat McAfee comes on its team next week to face uh, Adam Cole.
Who's a mystery man? I don't know. It's triple threat qualifier to get in the ladder match for the North American title that's vacated. Comes Koshida. It's been a long time since I've seen him wrestle on uh, NXT. It's Koshida Grimes, I think. And it's a mystery man. I don't, it can be Mr. Loomis. He's got an ankle injury, sadly. I think it's, uh, yeah, Cameron Grimes. Cameron Grimes, Koshida, and a mystery opponent, mystery man. I don't know who the hell it could be. I'm trying to think. Is, I think Roderick Strong's already in the ladder match. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. I believe Roderick's already in it. Cameron Grimes is talking to the title. The North American title talking to it. I will say if Cameron Grimes is in the ladder match, that guy would take some insane bumps and put on a hell of a match. Who's the damn mystery man? Better be someone good. I cannot think who the hell it could be. It's not Finn. I think he's in it already. Or is he not? I, I'm not sure who's in the ladder match except Bronson Reed. Who is this? Here's the mystery man. Velveteen Dream of. Oh. Hope not. That guy fucking killed his career. It really fucked up. Really? They brought him back. They brought him back. I hope they investigated his ass and what he did. Hope they really, really investigate him big time. And that's him. It's not an imposter. That's the real Velveteen Dream. feel about him back. Guy seems like a creep. Uh, especially uh, in his mess in his DMs. The guy is messaging underage teenagers all the time. Like what the fuck's wrong with you? That's wrong. Don't do that. Are you fucking insane? You want to end your career by doing that shit. Messaging, talking to underage fans. Stop doing that shit. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I hope they investigated and found he did nothing wrong, but where the hell does nude photos come from that he was sending people? How uh, that person, I don't know, someone could have set him up. I don't know. The guy's back. If he wasn't guilty, I'll give him a second chance, but I don't know. I don't think Triple H is that fucking stupid to bring a guy back that would be guilty. So, 
Ah, uh, whatever. He's back. He's probably going to win. I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked he's back. I don't think I'd see him till like 2021 or ever again. Crazy. Robert Terry Jr. is back. The thing is, if he just kept telling everyone, I didn't do anything, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I set up, I have proof. Of course he'll say that. So he's not caught and fired. But, um, now I forgot what I was going to say about it, but of course he would lie if he did something. And they're, they're going to just believe him because the guy has so much damn talent and charisma. That's a sad thing. A lot of times, a lot of famous people, you can break the law and you get away with it. Because you're either great at your job or you're just, I don't know, sentenced to, he, and I, he was never convicted. Velveteen Dream. But I don't know. I, 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 it's, I don't know what to think. It's mind-boggling that he would do that, messaging underage teenagers, and then they brought him back. It, it blows my mind because I don't know the damn truth. But again, he could have got off because they just think you have so much damn talent. We invested so much time in you. We invested years. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, NXT invested like three to four years in Velveteen Dream. So you think they they would want to let him go? I don't. So the bottom line is, if you're famous and you got a ton of talent, you can break the law, I guess, and get away with it and not be fired. Or not pay any consequences. But again, NXT's on a commercial, by the way. That's why I'm babbling on, giving my thoughts. But again, I'm, I'm trying to say, yeah, maybe he broke the law and he got away with it because of his talent, but maybe he didn't. Maybe his uh, Instagram or Twitter was hacked. I don't know, and someone hacked his phone, maybe. Got nude photos on his phone? Well, why the fuck would you ever save a nude photo of yourself in your phone? You gotta be dumb as fuck to do that shit. Especially if you're famous. I, I would still like Koshida to win. Not Velveteen Dream. The guy just came back. Have him job a couple times. Don't put him over right away. You should actually punish them for being fucking stupid and talking to underage uh, teens. Underage whatever the hell he did in messages. The guy's an idiot. Don't try to fucking make friends with underage fans and try to talk to them. Just don't. Don't do it. Come on, Koshida. Let's go, Koshida. Koshida grinds. A returning, shocking return. Velveteen Dream is back. I can't believe he's on my damn TV. I can't believe I'm seeing him.
I'm not stupid. I'm not blind. I will admit, Velveteen Dream has a ton of talent. The guy's super talented. Great wrestler. Super great gimmick. Plays his gimmick super well. But, I don't know why they brought him back so quick. Should have put it off until, like, Royal Rumble. And look, a lot of fans that, that love the guy, I I loved him. I loved his I love his gimmick. I don't love him anymore like I used to like the guy. But uh, a lot of fans and everybody probably in about a week will probably forget what he did or what he was accused of or maybe a setup. I don't know, but a lot of people. Because of social media nowadays, everybody's going to forget, I bet, in a week, what he did. Koshida, hell of a dive. Front flip to the floor, takes out Velveteen Dream. Put Koshida over. I, mean, I don't think he's ever going to take over a match. Put over Koshida. Koshida was just flipping that valley driver, whatever the hell it's called. Koshida, I'm submission. I'm submission on Dream. Cameron Grimes double stomps. Pushes Dream out of ring. Cameron Grimes covers Koshida. Two, three. Cameron Grimes wins. Shocking. But that's going to take a lot of awesome bumps in the latter match. So it's good he's in it. So Valentin Dream Marl just said he's gonna have another chance next week in another match to go to take over his ladder match for the North American title. Valentin Dream getting in the ring. 
I guess to attack Koshida. Is he a heel now? What the hell is this? Why are you attacking? Slaps him. So Valentin Jr. is snapped. I guess he's a heel. Try to attack the ref, chasing the ref. What the hell? You're off your fucking rocker. Why are you attacking Koshida? What the fuck did he do to you? He didn't message you? Velveteen Dream treated Koshida like he was an underage uh, kid messaging him. Finn Ballard here and beat the hell out of Finn, beat the crap out of him. Finn points at Dream right to the face of Dream. So they're facing off at TakeOver, I think, to get in the ladder match. So then they got to wrestle two two times at TakeOver 30. I don't know. But Finn better fucking go over, Velveteen. Finn better go over. If I was Triple H, if I was booking NXT, I would punish Velveteen for what how stupid he was and the stupidity he did to message message uh, underage back or the fucker was sent photos. Nude photos. I'm sure he denied it, but that was the story I heard. Anyways, this ends my NXT uh, main event reaction. That was shocking. I don't get shocked much, but when I heard Velveteen's music, I was shocked and I was surprised. Velveteen, Cameron Grimes, Koshida, they had a good match. It was not bad. I'm glad Valentin lost. Just have him lose to Finn. The guy hasn't deserved to be put over yet. And start winning and getting a push yet. Until he fucking changes his life for the better. And knows how to act like a normal person and not a creep. Bye for now everybody. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. In the description uh, if you can leave me a tip. My PayPal account is always there. Bye for now.